Hey guys, in this tutorial we're going to create a simple spider web cake for Halloween. I've already ganached a 6 inch cake and placed it onto a drum. To see how I ganache a cake I've left the tutorial in the iCard. Now this tutorial doesn't require any sugar paste. Yep, no kneading or rolling out. We're going to paint it with luster. You just need a bowl and a wide paintbrush. I just got this one in a pack from the pound shop. Try and find one where the bristles aren't too tough. I'm going for a shimmery dark green colour, so I'm starting out with Starlight Galactic Green from Rainbow Dust for the shimmer. And then to darken it, I'm using Autumn Green, which is just a regular dust, not a lustre. You can use any colours you like. Add your dust mixture to the bowl. Then you want to add some lemon extract. There's been some confusion in the comments lately about what I use. For lusters, dusts and metallics, I mainly use lemon extract as I find this better than vodka. For watering down gel colours into a paint, I use water. I don't find any benefit of using vodka or extract over water for gels, so water is the no-brainer, cheaper option. The only dust I mix with water is usually white powder, as I'm only painting on the odd detail rather than a large open area like this cake. So again, water being cheaper will suffice for the quick details such as highlights and symbols. So add your lemon extract to the dust and mix it with your paintbrush. We have created a custom dark green luster. Paint this all over your cake. We're going to build the coverage up in layers, so don't worry too much about streaks. Some lusters have better coverage than others and only require one coat, and others may need three or four. I always get asked, how long does it take to dry? And the answer is, as long as it takes. Various factors affect drying time, just like when you're painting a wall, but as soon as you can touch it and no colour comes off on your finger and it isn't sticky, you can add the next coat. Build up your layers until you're happy with it. This six inch cake used a full tub of the Galactic Green Luster. Once it's dry, you may have the odd lump of luster dust. Gently, with a new soft makeup brush, use it to blend the powder in. Next, cover the board in black paste using the toilet seat method. I've linked the full tutorial above. I've also popped all the links to the products I use in the description box. Now, grab yourself some white marshmallows. Add a big handful into a bowl. Put this in the microwave for literally 30 seconds. They will puff up and go all jellyfied. Stir them with a spatula to turn them into sticky spider webs. Now make sure it's cooled just enough to handle it and grab some between your fingers. As you pull it apart, it will create some cool spider web effects. Wrap this all around the cake. Beware. This stuff is insanely sticky. I edited the part out where I stuck myself to the spatula for a good five minutes. Seriously, do not touch anything else while this is on your hands. As the marshmallow cools, it may be harder to pull web shapes, so just pop it back in the microwave for a few seconds to heat it back up. For the spider's body, I picked up these goo heads from Home Bargains. They are essentially cream eggs, but they're only around at Easter. So they've brought out these goo heads and scream eggs for Halloween. They are exactly the same, even down to the pattern on the chocolate. I'm going to keep the pattern as it adds to the jewel detail. If you want it plain, you can quickly cover it with a thin layer of sugar paste. For the face, I'm using this mold again. It's by Marvelous Molds that I'll link to below. Dust it with icing sugar and place in a ball of brown sugar paste. It doesn't have to fill the mould as we just want the skull part. Peel it out and just trim around the skull with a scalpel to remove the excess. Roll a small ball of paste and add this in front of the egg and attach the skull. For the legs, add some tylo powder to some brown paste and roll a thin tapered sausage. Bend this in the middle and make eight of them. 
put them on a foam pad to set a little. I also picked these up from Home Bargains, Jane Asher Halloween Sprinkles. There are four different types, but I bought them purely for the little black skulls. I bought them on a whim, not knowing when I'd use them, but on making this cake, I thought they'd make quite cool looking flies trapped in the web. These will stick straight on to the marshmallow. Once the legs have set a little bit, attach them to your spider's body with water. At this point, if you really want, you can make him dance. I'm using metallic golden sands to paint the spider. All my gold elements are usually painted with my favourite Claire Bowman metallic gold. However, it is non-edible and I always paint on things that can be removed. Although the spider can be removed, it defeats the object of using an edible cream egg as its body. So we're going to use an edible gold. The problem with the edible golds is that they don't always cover very well and are quite streaky or too yellow looking. Funnily enough, after I'd gone to all this effort to make it edible, my husband ate the spider after the tutorial and absolutely hated the gold coating. So really, it might just pay to make the spider inedible and paint it with the non-edible gold to make it look better. Just because something is marked as edible doesn't mean to say it's going to taste nice and enhance your cake. So don't feel bad for using something non-edible that can be removed rather than something that is edible but tastes like a nasty bogey. Lastly, add some detail to your spider with sprinkles. I have these tiny balls that I'm plucking the dark green ones out of with a damp paintbrush. Add them to the eye sockets and on the end of the starburst pattern on the egg. I decided to swap the centre one for a red ball. And we're done. An easy Halloween cake with no sugar paste needed just some very sticky marshmallows and a few sweets from the baking aisle. Hopefully you can create this easily at home and it would look great as a two tier for a Halloween party. Hope you enjoyed this week's tutorial. If you did, please consider sharing it with your Halloween crazy friend. See you next week. Bye guys.